Hey everybody, welcome to Turn Thirty Six. Um, you know we've we've re, re uh, you know I don't I don't know how if I'm going to edit this right, but in, in case you saw anything where I did surrender, I did invade up here Norman uh, up here by Rome. Uh, that was called off. That was just a simulation. We worked through that with uh, Ara that we were just kind of testing, but he was kind of taking it more seriously. So uh, we decided to rerun the turn. Uh, he didn't want to give up on it, and I I said, hey, if you let me rerun it, that's cool, but losing six divisions here because I was just fucking around not being serious is fine, but if you want to take it serious from here on out, I'll, I'll take it serious and I won't throw guys away on stupid ops like that, but I was just trying to learn the game. But So we were read on the turn. I cut off that invasion, um, which in turn what I did do is it's... Where did I redirect the invasion to now? Where did I redirect it to? 135, 230s. 135, 255, which is, oh, so I haven't moved the invasion hexes yet. Or maybe I've kept them here just to get a little bit closer and land when things are a little bit, when I've got his forces drawn away a little bit more. When I, when he thinks that the op is blown, I'll, you know, I'll do it then. So, but for now we've, we've pushed up a little bit here. Uh, see, we got, we pushed up around Naples. We got pushed back a little bit here by the Gross Deutschland. Looks like he brought him back from from uh, the Eastern Front, a couple of Turkmen divisions. Um, up here, our armored division got pushed back by Falsham Jaeger unit and a portion of the 7th SS Mountain. Another portion of the of portion of the 6th SS Mountain was here, so it looks like they're, they were fighting together as well. So it looks like we're starting to run into a little bit stiffer line around this, this uh, area here. So our work's going to be cut out for us. And, uh, you know, the guys up here trying to, to run up the 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 line here. We've got a rail line actually built now. These guys have motorized. These guys, I don't know if they're motorized or not. I didn't have enough trucks, so we'll see. But for now, let's get to the the air unit. See what we're uh, see what we're working with so far. I it's been a while since I've done one of these, and it's it's been nice to to bring it back for you guys. It's always nice when I I post this stuff up and I get comments on the forums because when it's just crickets, it's like fuck. Is anyone even looking at this? And it's like, am I just wasting my time? But when people say they're looking at, it feels awesome. And uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone that was taking a gander. Let's see, RAF Bomber Command. Why don't you have any things you're trying to bomb? That's curious. Did I call off? Where did all the... I wonder if it's because I updated. Nope. No, it must not have been. Where did all... Oh, the doctrines. When I ran the fucking... Oh, okay. When I ran the... Uh, the other doctrines, it, it deleted them. And I'm going to stop night bombing. It doesn't fucking work. It's just, it's super ineffective. I'm not a big fan of it. And, um, yeah, it's a, it's a fucking Debbie Downer. So let's look at our points right now. Our minus 251. Last turn, we, we did pretty good. Only lost a little bit on V weapons, a little bit on losses, but we're still, we got a lot of, a lot of non US losses we're dealing with and U boats. We did a bad job with U boats. So that's kind of been what's been kicking us in the tail. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Man, I'm really sorry. Apologies. Let's go ahead and uh, do a bombing run. Let's see. We're going to do launch site. So the, when I read the rules, if something's damaged, it's not going to count for any points. So we're just going to try to hit all these cities one by one, at least damage them a little bit. And actually, if they're if they're in the same area of each other, which it looks like they are here, so maybe I can do Bell, Boulong, Calais, Dunkirk, they're all one. So Boulong and Cal Dunkirk are not damaged. Then Hesedon's not, da Hesedon's not damaged. And Bethune is, Bethune's not damaged. So let's hit Beth. I wish I could put them, the target right here in the center and say bomb those cities, but I'll do... I'll start with Bethune. Let's say Bethune. And we'll do an area of two. Actually, we'll do an area of one. So then we hit those both those cities. And then I'll do another one for Calais with one. It'll hit both those other cities. I'll say target priority. Um, launch weapons. Screw the other stuff. And we'll see. It's supposedly... We'll, I'll do one more. I'll do one night run. And see, let's check the 
three, five. Okay, confirm. Boom. We'll do another one for Calais with a radius of one. So that should get, oh, that's, see, that's different. Or Anyway, so we'll do a radius of two. So that gets us, that's still good. It gets us Dunkirk, Boulogne, and Calais. Same target, well, not different target priorities. We want to hit the launch facilities. We do also, while we're here, we do also want to hit the ports. I mean, come on. Come on, hit the ports. You know you do. Uh, we'll do that nighttime as well. And then, that, so that'll cover everything because Sherwood's still out of commission. Um, what else can we hit while we're here? Because we've got a bunch of bombing left. Uh, but night bombing is so ineffective. It kind of just makes me like, I know they say they got the oboe radar, but it just, it fucking sucks. So we'll see. Um, maybe I'll do one day bombing for the whole area and see if it does any better. You know, one day bombing on the last day of the week just to see if we have any better luck. Oh, and I didn't know men's had anything. So let's do this. Day bombing. Five. Get some men's. So let's see. It's Fort Wolf. we cover it. Yeah, it'll get them in. It'll get the whole area. Let's say targets are just going to be screw the ports. All we want is the U-boat stuff. It'll be day bombing. We're just going to do it the last day of the week. Actually, we'll do it on the 6th, just to see. Medium intensity, just like the rest, rest of the things. Confirm. So then we can kind of have an exercise and see. So it's not like, it's not out here on Dusseldorf and, and Cologne where it's like the, the rain, the extent of the oboe radar. It's like super close, right across the channel. Should be real fucking easy. So if I see a big difference between the day and night, I'm going to switch off night totally because I can't afford to keep losing um losing bombers because of that nonsense if that makes sense so let's go ahead and say let's see what we got here none let's see what we want to hunt for Actually, let's hunt for real yards I, I poked in one of the forums saying what do you want and I was like I really want an option to sort because having an option to sort by these any of these would make the, our jobs a lot easier. It, and one thing that's weird too is I heard from Ara that I would recommend for them to fix is you go into the um, the logistics report or the commander's report, whatever it is, shift, the shift D report, and they can't go to the freight damage screen like we see. Like we see the freight damage screen and they don't. They have to look one by one by one. They should just have a, of, of all people, the German the German player should be able to, to look and see, hey, we got bombed by this or that and it's... Uh, see the they should be able to see the freight report you know the way it is at least i think so that's just my two cents Let's see lil lil's a five everyone's a five paris is what's paris because we do need to start weakening over here if we're going to invade on this you know invade in a couple months you know in like eight turns so <clears throat> We need to start paying attention to that. Get it, get it taken care of. So let's see. Where's Paris on this list? Jesus, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things, and it would be so nice if you could sort by this because this is retarded to dig through. So let's just look. Paris is nine railway, one railway, two railway, south. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's hit Paris. Really hard. We're going to focus on rail yard, but we'll hit aircraft and AFU while we're there. <coughs> Be night bombing. Because night bombing is super awesome, effective, you know it is. Not really. I'm just being facetious. Coastal command. I just don't want anyone to feel bad. Naval patrol. I don't know why I have any. Why don't I have any escorts? 
No free mods on the aircraft. Well, that's not a free aircraft. What's. Well, shit. You're way the fuck up there. Why are you way the fuck up there? Buddy. Dude. Let's get you down. Let's, let's get you let's get you down here, buddy. Okay? We need you down here. Team needs you down here, bro. Team needs you down here. Coastal command. We're looking at this one. We're trying to see why not well, why don't we have any any fucking escorts? Oh, but they still had none of free air, aircraft. Okay, so you know, what's the deal with them? They're flying the Fortress I-2. And the 2A. And when did the 2A come into service? Because I bet there was a new rule in this update where it says within three a month of a plane coming out, you can't use it. And within three months of a fighter coming out, and I bet it, I bet it just came out. And actually, I stand corrected because its start date was, uh, was, oh weird. Its start date was 1942, where the Fortress Two start date was 1943. That's, that's interesting. But it looks like it ends in 843, and it's 44 now. So we're not going to get any more of those. <clears throat> we we're going to be getting the Fortress Twos. So. So we've got how many planes do we have? We have ten aircraft damaged. Oh man, they took a beating. And then oh, yowza! They have ten aircraft damaged. There's seven in the pool. There's nobody using the two yet. So let's just switch over to the two. You know, while we're there, while we're there, we'll just we'll just switch over to the two. You know, not enough ready aircraft. Let's check this one and see as well. Mr. Halifax, the RFS, the RAF Coastal Command, what the hell are you doing? And what are you doing, Coastal Command? What is Coastal Command doing in the med? You should be, you should be up in England. But anyway, you have one plane, you have a squadron of 12. Yikes. Um, let's see. I bet if we compare this, no, this plane's in service. It's in service till the forty fourth, but it probably doesn't. It probably doesn't get a lot of planes. I'm I'm going to assume that's what it is. It doesn't have a lot. So what's its range? Its range is twenty eight hundred compared to nineteen hundred. Oh, it's it's so nice having that range. Oh man, come on now. Let's compare the Liberator and see. Liberator has a bunch in the pool we can use. Its range ranges are comparable. The Liberator, the less famous of the, the flying fortresses. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna change it over. Make sure this is part of the, you know, the micromanagement part of the show for the allies. But that's like, it's kind of nice to do it themselves. The Czechs don't have enough aircraft or pilots, so I'm not going to worry about them right now. Because it looks like they have the, let's see, they might have the planes. They might, they might not actually have the planes, but they also don't have the pilots. Two aircraft ready. They're flying the, yeah, it has plenty of freaking things, but they don't have any, when you look, they won't have any pilots. Oh, they have pilots in the pool. WTF. WTF, mate. Why aren't you getting any aircraft, brother? Okay, well, pull some aircraft, son. Okay, thanks. Not enough ready, ready aircraft to fly. Nine planes. They're just damaged. So we'll just let them, we'll let them stand down for a turn, actually. Let's go and have the coastal command stay down for a turn, just so they can get a little bit of a get a little bit of rest. Actually, if they're not going to fly. They'll get they'll get rest on their own. No rest for the wicked. Am I right? Oh yes, I'm totally right. Totes right. Totes. Totes right. Okay, you guys are going to do a little bit of a... You have some fighter bombers. What are you flying as? Let's see. You're flying, you're flying as a fighter. You're flying as fighters. So that means you're flying as fighter bombers? Because that says dash F, so that means a fighter. So these guys are flying as bombers. Mission bomber. Okay, cool. I'm reading it right. Let's go me. Fighters. 
fighter. So we got a bunch of fighter bombers. Awesome. And what is its uh, loadout range? Oh, I thought it showed the range when you clicked on the, the unit. Oh, maybe I have to click on the unit to see the range. Loadouts. You know you want those rocket pods, y'all. That reduces the range by... Oh, this is four rocket pods and two drop tanks. Yeah, yes, please. Yeah, that sounds like what the Typhoon should be rolling with. The two rocket, they get the range and they get the rockets, so for the win. But I really want to see, so I have to go here. Typhoons, Spitfires. Typhoons. So I can go here and see the range. Oh, they have really good range. They're they have plenty, plenty, plenty range. So actually let me see if I switch them out for just instead of thousand pound bombs, just the eight rockets and what they get. It looked like it dropped significantly, but yeah, it did drop significantly. Yeah, we'll leave the we'll leave the pods on. Let's see, is there one that's a couple pods and bombs? But I really want the rockets. The rockets are the shit. The rockets just fucking obliterate. They own. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't compete with this. This is that's awesome. Okay, so let's go back to second tactical air force. Well, we don't want any bomb. We want to. We want to do our ground attack thing, and we want to go and harass. We want to still go and harass this area here. Boop. Oh, it's just too small area. But it's a bunch of big rail lines. Actually, let's move the hex over a little bit. Boop. So we're gonna just be harassing around the Paris area because it's such a major rail rail depot there, you know. So uh, let's interdict. Totally get railways, rail yards. Fantastic guys. Fantastic. Boom, for the win. That's your that's your sole job all week is to just fuck them up there. Eighth Air Force. Okay, we're got to get back on the ball with you guys, and we don't we want it to be the weapon launch facilities. A lot of them have damage. Let's hit Brenda Schweer. Boop. Wow, does this really have that much there? Well, shit. Weapon launch, kill it. Um, man, what does it have here? Because that's, that's impressive. And what is its anti-aircraft defenses? 5-8. And actually, here's where some of the, what I'm going to try to do, I guess. They said, you know, drive the waypoints yourself. I go, okay. So let's see if it works. It's a, it's a better quarter, I'll say that. But let's see, what do, what do we have for escorts now? 
We still have tons of escorts, so that works. And then from here, go to here. I wish I could add new waypoints. Can I add a new waypoint? Go here, turn, hit them that way. And then I can change the egress, right? Also changing the egress. Boom, fly there to there, actually fly here to here. Go over, actually here to here. And then back out. Nice. Go in, hit them and quit them. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got Jade Panther, Stug, some other shit. Some, and some planes. Got to destroy the V weapons. We want to we want to pound the AFEs. Medium style air force is low, and while we're here, actually, do this with medium, and the rail yard, of course. Medium. Low. And then the manpower low because it might hurt other stuff. So actually, it's not night bombing. So. And let's see. The low, oh, we flying around it. There's not much flak in there, so it's kind of more surgical anyway. So it's boom, 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 surgical. But still, let's try. Everyone says try, try low altitude. So what's there seen low altitude? Let me bring up Adobe and see real quick. Uh, low altitude. Okay, below 20K is low, mid. Okay. Let's see if we do this one. Low to the ground, what we get. Nape of the Earth stuff over here. So we'll see. This is going to be experimenting. Nape of the Earth bombing. Okay. So we got that one. That was brush, brush, brush. Okay, so that's an eight. Uh, then we got a six in Nushul, Nushul. That one's deep in the heart of Texas, too. That one actually doesn't look like it's defended at all. It's only got one manpower. Let's see what other ones can we can get two first for. Rail yard, heavy industry. Stetson. Stetson's a big one. It's got armaments, but it's already been damaged. No, it hasn't been damaged, actually. <clears throat> Rostock. Rostock is nice. That has. Yeah, let's do Rostock. So let's tweak our egress or ingress. Boop. Boom, in, in, in. In, in, in. Get in, hit it, and get out. It's actually not a bad line. That's a pretty good line. So let's see. This is my first time trying it, so hopefully it works. Because if it doesn't work, I'm going to be bummed. Because it's a lot of effort to do this, you know. Let's see. Wreck the AFE, wreck the Air Force. Ports I don't really care about so much. Actually, Porch trigger supply, but in, in this case, I don't care. Rail yards I care about, manpower I don't really care about. And we'll do it as another low run. Two, three, four, five, six. 
another low run. We'll live at 15k. See what see what the difference is. So 15k for this one. Boom. Headshot. So those are the two big things we're gonna plan on this turn. Um we're not gonna do any deep bombing of fuel because he put units up there last time. So let's see if we can do. You know, he, he learned from his mistake. You know, we put uh where was it? Oh, they're just north and south. We put we put bombers up there and they they uh sent them down again. They just got wrecked. But as you see, they're still hundred percent damaged, so they you know, don't hate the player, hate the game. That's all I'm saying. Let's see, what other what other fuel places can we bomb just to give him a taste of his own medicine? It's sorted by range. Let's see, what can we do that's close and effective? Wesseling is a ten, but it's already hundred damaged. Although it hasn't had a turn photo since the first turn, so it's it's prime for an update. SNS thirteen. But it's such a hornet's nest, I don't know if I want to go in. Also hornet's nest. What about moors? Is moors also hornet nest, but it's lesser anyway. If we come in north to south and leave that way, it would it'd still be brutal, but... see Manberg seven four that one actually has pretty shitty like high range stuff so let's hit that one high level and it's what twenty twenty thousand they said Above 20k, okay. So let's target fuel for the win. Low manpower. Everything else is off the table. Just hit the fuel. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Hit the fuel, hit the resources. That's the biggest thing. Let's make sure we take a good line. Amsterdam is such a tough nut. Actually, let me leave that there. Fly away from Amsterdam. Boom, boom. Fly that way. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. It's a pretty good line. I'm, I can live with it. Done. Ch Ciao. Okay, so let's get some, our get our recons on. Oh no 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 new recons. Yes, because we want to do a strategic recon. Strategic recon of which one? Boom. Strategic, yes. There's nothing to take a picture of there, there. Mostly that. That's that's what we need the pictures of. Yes. And we want to do another strategic recon of just this whole area probably. Was it bombing around? I already got the Muchen. Hold on. Around. <clears throat> around here. So let's recut around there.
Oh, no, I don't need three. Just need, don't even need two. We don't even need two. One will do. There we go. Strategic recon. Yes. Yes. Boom, done, 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 awesome. Well done. Ninth Air Force, you're still building up, it looks like. Troop carrier, you don't really do anything. Superiority, you're flying over there. Oh, you want air superiority over. Naples front. Actually, we want it over the air ground, so. So the aircraft, awesome. Well done, gentlemen. Well done. Um, <clears throat> 15th Air Force. You can, the ground attacks are going to be important, but just not uh, there. We're going to want them focused on Naples. Don't need that big of an area. Let's focus it nice and small. Small is good and good is small. Interdict, railway. Rail yard, ports, and airfields. And let's drop it on a two. We don't really need, we just want to keep it in this little pocket, but we want to obliterate that pocket. So that's, that's the job, to obliterate that fucking pocket and teach it some respect for its elders. Respect my authority. Okay. Uh, strategically, I think... We've gotten done a good job of blowing, like, these rail lines are all fucked. Like, they're totally, a lot of them are fucked, fucked, fucked good. So we got to keep that up because we need to, he even mentioned, like, boy, you guys have been boning my rail yards. It's been brutal, which is good because that's what we're trying to do. And that's, it's important that we do that. If we don't do that, then what have we done? We've done nothing. We want to kind of keep this flank weak. This is going to be easy for, this will be a little easier for us to get up this side. It's a little better train, not by much, but he'll, his, his forces are going to be here. So we're going to want to push, push here if we can. We don't really have anything here. It's going to take us a while to fill this out, but any more pressure we can keep on him, the better. Port one, heavy industry. Port two. Rail yard two, rail yard two. Let's see if we can do a, do a nine, but let's do a uh, port attacks, rail yard attacks. We don't care about the rest right now. Port and rail yard for this whole area. Make it so high intensity, make it rain, death, and destruction, yada, yada, yada. Oh, gosh, which reminds me, let's look at the weather, guys. Let's see what's the weather going to be. Ground weather is going to be light mud, light snow there with mixes, um, rain here. We might not fly, so we'll see. We might not fly. We'll have a lot of operational losses if we do fly, but we can't give them a reprieve. Regular recon units and airfields. We want recon.
strategic recon here of ports, rail yards, everything else doesn't matter right now. Boom. We got there, there, and there. Awesome. We want to do. We still want to hit them up here. We need to make sure we're. Oh no! Don't want to mess that up. We still need to do some low priority bombing up there. We need to make sure we're we're continuing to 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 weaken the north and not lay off those rail lines. You know, because he, he even said they're. You know, it's causing it's causing some consternation for him. But let's move it down a little bit closer. Even closer still, if we do that, we get a pretty good grouping of of rail lines we can hit. Rail lines, ports. Ports are low because it's not a big deal. But you know, anything we can hit a value, we wanna we wanna hit it. Fuel don't care so much about. We want it to focus on rail and port. We don't want to wasting bombs on anything that's not important right now. Which will take us to our sixth recon mission. So we have to make sure we recon after and to make sure everything got blowed up properly. And what did we have? We had a uh, four, five. Oh no, it was longer. It was three. Yeah, there we go. Strategic port rail yards are most important. Confirm. Perfect. That takes us to the Tactical Air Force, whose job it is to fuck shit up. That's the technical term. We're going to change the ground attack to... They're pretty heavily dug in there. We're going to change the ground attack to here. Units, railways, interdiction. That'll be perfect. Ground support still for there. That'll be everything we need. Not many aircraft for ground support, but it's all good. We'll move superiority to here. Yeah, there you go. We'll move recon to here. Yeah. I'll actually move this recon to here and make the area a little bit bigger. And then we can do five, maybe. Oh, even better. So we can kind of get a whole swath of what we're looking for here, which would be nice. Well, it does pretty much everything tactical. Naval patrol. Okay. Okay, and I think that's about it. Let's then save at the end of the turn. T36 air. T36 for air. Okay. Supply's pretty good. Even though they got beat up, they're still pretty good. Um, let's see, light mud. Light mud, okay. We're going to kind of grind to a halt here. And I feel a little bit better. After rereading my Sicily books, like, it wasn't until June that they took Rome. So, I mean, it. while it sucks that I was held up here the whole time, I made a lot of ground up by couple turns getting there so it's getting back to historical I guess so it's not totally not totally terribly upset about it I guess I mean it, it was frustrating but I guess my point is it could have been worse let's get priority repels for these for these rails though oh it's already level 3 airbase perfect we want airbases all up and down here Need 
that report repaired. Get all those things repaired. Yeah, let's see. Hopefully Toronto's already been... I can't believe I didn't mark Toronto as primary repair already. Oh, and it needs a bigger airbase. Come on now. These rail yards are the key to our, our supply, you know. They gotta be repaired quickly. I'm pretty sure this one already was, right? Oh, that's not rail. Rail anyway. <clears throat> that one is awesome. This airbase is already being expanded. Nope. Expand it. The sooner we get bombers flying out of here, the better for everyone. The sooner we get them flying to to Germany to make the, the Nazis pay for their war of aggression. Their evil war of aggression. I want to come to an end. I already did that one. We're expending a lot of points and supply, but in the end, like these bombers are going to be able to hit Polizzi. Ploesti. I always say it wrong. I always want to say like Nancy Pelosi, but like no, Ploesti. So that'll uh, that'll be good. Get rid of that there. Okay, so I think that does it. Let's do another quick save for the air since we did a couple things that we don't want to lose next time. And then we'll run the air portion of the event. And uh, we'll see where we're at. To the air missions. I love that they tweaked it so I could just change the message level in the middle of a battle and see what's kind of going on. I kind of like to watch. It's kind of the best part of it, I guess. Oh, interdiction's finally... Now, I, that's one thing. Concentrating your interdiction more makes it a lot more effective. So, I'm happy about that. I forgot to change the loadouts for some of my planes, which is annoying, but I'll get better at that as well. Before, that was the before shot of the uh, bombing. These are all before shots because this is still what day one. Yeah, day one. So they take the before and after shots, so we can say, "Hey, here's what it was before. Here, what it was after." Like, compare.
interdiction. Oh yes, it's so sweet. Oh, the worst part about the earphones that cover your ears eventually is your, your ears can get itchy and it is frustrating. Although it's nice that it helps keep all the extra sound out. And I've always found them to be more comfortable anyway. This is the boring part of the event, which kind of makes me want to go too through it, but hopefully my silence will be okay because you'll get to see the actual combat and that's what you're, you're here for the combat and the play anyway, not my drizzle. Nice. I don't know what we hit. I think we hit... It popped up too fast for me to read what we actually hit. Oh, looks like we'd hit the Stug factory. Fuck you, Stugs. Oh, they're interdicting me. Just, they're intercepting me as we fly through. And that's what's just kind of cool. I like you can watch that. I, I find that to be super awesome. Like, here's the end of another interdiction. Another interdiction as we're flying along our path. Because you see the red line here is the the way, the, the uh, flight path. Nice, got the synthetic fuel. something got repaired you see it went from red to green because our recon showed that it had actually been repaired so that's gonna go up oh, knock that real yard out important increase the rail yard so there you go knock the port out awesome knock the rail yard out because the only way we're gonna get through is we're gonna have to starve the the germans out we can't we can't go head to head like we can't lose a you know, quarter of a million men like they did in real life that's it's a big a big ask. But the nice thing is if like Gross Deutschland is down here and these other SS units are here fighting me, I know they're not up in Normandy, you know, defending for the invasion there. It's hard it's it's hard to lose sight of the fact that this is just a backwater, that this is of no real strategic significance it's just a, a soak for German manpower okay we're in the recon phase right now so let's let's jump through that a little bit quicker This is a eviction phase. Oh, they're going to take this in my bomb lands. Soon I'll be able to move a lot more bombers into Italy directly, so it'll be a lot. We'll have more time on target. We'll have. We won't need to run with the damn drop tanks for my bombers. They'll be able to carry. Or my fighters. They'll be able to carry drop tanks. Or be able to rockets and stuff, so that'll be awesome. Recon section of the event. Still a recon portion of the event. Oh, no, it's back to bombing. Cool. Got the V-Weapon site there. Awesome. We should get V-Weapon sites here. Oh, interception. <clears throat> oh, we didn't get anything. When you'll hear the little boom, you know it's, it wasn't effective.
I'm just trying to skip through the boring parts of of just recon and whatnot. Oh, oh, an interdiction round. Okay. Back to recon. Still, I should say. We're up to 50% of the way through the turn. The run. Naval. Let me know if you like if you like me going through these or, or not. Like if you prefer me just to run through them. I kinda I kinda like it. I like personally watching here because it I don't know, it kind of feels like I'm more in touch with the the game if that makes sense. Although there's a greater time commitment. Commitment. Okay, so I'll run. Oh, that was good. I just took down some of his and... Oh man, lost 36. Whew. Oh, we got there. V weapons factories. Another one. We got three of them. We started with 100 fighters. Now we're down to 118. Now 24. No noise, so I guess we didn't hit him. Got something there. Can't see what it was because I couldn't scroll, but I got something there. Nice, got the resource production. Awesome. Oh, nothing there. The sounds would make it nice to know. It's it's nice to see where it's it's just nice to see. And now as they build up a recon nest of like where enemy fighter bombers are, I can do sweeps over them and do bombing of those airfields to kind of suppress. You know, as I get better at it, it depends on how anal I want to get. Like, do I want to get super anal and like be that level of detail, or just like ah eh, fuck it, you know? And that's kind of the balancing act. Is like that's a little. Is that too much for me? Is that going to drive me crazy? You know, things like that. Of, of maybe I don't necessarily need to go that fucking in depth and everything. And no harm to people to do that. And that's probably why they do better when they when they do that. But me, it's like, yeah, I don't know if it's worth that much. Unless it becomes an issue. Like, unless I literally see like my guys are getting shoot up by this airbase. This is a no brainer. Like, get it done. Like, that's a different story. Another V weapon bombing, nice. V weapon bombing. We have to make sure also we check the, the night bombing to make sure, see how it went. Check the night bombing and check the low level bombing, see how it went. Okay, let's just skip through the rest of it and get, get to the end. Let's take this part's taking a while. We're up to almost an hour recording already, so I try not to bore you guys too terribly much. And for every 20 minutes of recording, it takes about two hours to to do the... Per 20 minutes of recording, it takes about two hours to do the... To do the, um... Rendering. So it'll, this is a you know six hour rendering to get it done. So, and I mean I run it when I'm all, all off the computer doing something else. So it's not the worst thing in the world, but I just it's nice to be able to like keep them out there and not bug you guys too much. Like, eh, it's too long to watch the whole thing. Like I don't want to be I want to cross between boring. So let me know like, hey I, I want you to cut out air or just cut out cut out the boring parts. Like tell me what you what you want so I can make sure I'm I'm you know entertaining you guys because I'm doing this for entertainment. I'm doing this. 
you know, not only for my history of what I did so I can look back and see how I've done things, but also to, to make sure I'm entertaining you guys. Because that's important. Guys and girls, of course. I know there's elusive female wargamers out there. I'd love to meet them. Be awesome, my wife. My wife's a gamer. It'd be nice if she was a war gamer. That'd be awesome. Okay, so <clears throat> our day bombing. How did our day bombing go? Actually, how did our night bombing go? Did we get any? Did we make any progress on our night bombing? Like we, we hoped we would. Let's see. Okay, the night bombing, five percent, nine percent, four percent. So it's not totally ineffective, but let's compare it to what they did versus the the day bombing. Another okay, and another night bombing at Calais. Three percent, four percent, ninety nine percent. Like, okay. Pretty good at night. Let's see what they did during the day. And night they lost the two night missions. They flew like three thousand thirty seven hundred sorties. They lost eighteen. One day they threw four hundred ish. Sorties lost twelve, so big difference. Let's see if the for no effect. For no effect. So Yeah, I guess the Brits are gonna stay with with excuse me. I guess uh, la, la, la. sorry. I guess the Brits are gonna stay with night bombing then. Yeah, the night bombing did actually good when I was closer, so I mean not great. I mean this isn't great, but the the attrition was lower. Well, except for this one. Um, and the 8th Air Force, how is its attrition based on my flight patterns? Did good, did good, did good. Lost a bunch of planes to intercept. Like, lost 200 planes. I mean, let's say 1,200 lost, 1,200 damaged. That's a fucking lot. 300 enemy aircraft lost, so it's 4 to 1. And they lost 700, so less than half. So that's that's a pretty good, for once, less than half. Gotta find the gotta find the bright spot, you know. Ground attack. Bomb city. Nice. Knocked out railways. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. Let's go ahead and look at the the you know, the factor damage report. See what we're working with. And I let them know that these these weren't right. Like this really means it was Stet and I just took it, you know two turns ago and it's 12% damage in Berlin it was I took it on turn 15 so this is the turn it actually happens not the number of turns ago like it's it's not labeled right in the manual so I'm not too pressed about it but I was just trying to help oh that's one thing I want to see too did we hit um did they hit Synthetic fuel, synthetic fuel, synthetic fuel, nice. And then synthetic fuel here. Nice, airplanes there. And then synthetic fuel here, right? No, no synthetic fuel there. Fantastic, let's see what our interdiction is. Even with all that bombing, we still only got minimal interdiction there. I don't know what the deal is. Like, am I not running enough? Am I not running enough recon to see that I'm doing? Like, when you look at the bombing, it looks like it's doing it heaps and heaps of it. But you look at this and it's it's like, eh, kind of, maybe. Maybe sort of on a good day, you know? And it's like, eh, makes me a little sad, I guess. That's sad is the right word. But now our land turn. Let's see. First off, who did we get in this turn? Fourth U.S. Corps. And it's fifth Polish. Is that one new too? Fifth Polish division? Nice. The fifth Polish division. You guys get on boats. On a boat. With a boat. For a boat. I was like, that's not Toronto. I was like, yeah, let's get to Toronto and offload. Just 
regiments, battalions, oh, amphibious HQs. Hello, how are you doing? I'm again. Okay. Let's see, what do we got so far? Shit, let's let's move them both. At least here. Like at least we know they're gonna be here. Okay, so now we can go. We got this one prepping. Prepping for here, here, here so far. This one prepping. It's a level four port, level two port. Level seven port that's prepping for there. Where's one of our other ports? Oh, we're gonna put one here too, okay. Oh, this is a level six port and we want those Canadians. It's weird that there's gonna be Americans running someone, but I'm not, I can't think of a, a compelling reason why I should give a crap, you know. Got them there, two there. Let me make sure we've also got 81. Because I think the rest of them have. Oh, he doesn't have anything yet. He doesn't either. He does. Okay, so we got that, that, that. <clears throat> Size four port. I might move these guys over here. In fact, I will move those guys over there. And then I'll move him over here. To, this is size six port, so it'll it'll be it will develop faster. So it'll be two, four, six, eight, ten, and then Oh I forgot to god damn it, I forgot to run recon. Let me make a note to run friggin' recon, because recon is important. Recreate the recon missions for immunity. Because we want to see the fort levels and stuff. I mean, not that it, I mean it matters a little bit, but this is gonna be a big fort. These are all forts. Um I want to keep them together and contiguous. And here's where the air the air landings are here, here, and here. Which reminded me to target. So there's three there, four, five, five there. And I think we're actually getting more, still some more, because um, I, I left all the ones that were from down there that died, I left them up here to prep for Normandy, because they're not going to make much difference down, down there, to be honest. <laughs> we need them up here. Uh, maybe I don't, maybe that's all I get. I could have sworn I got more. Let me reread. Let me let me see if I missed them. Two there, amphibious HQ. Amphibious HQ. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's all I got. Huh. Am I missing one? That's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Looks for Amphib HQs, right? None. Amphib. Oh, cause there's a... So there's a couple here. One. There's two here that are down there, so that's that. Not the end of the world, I guess. So we have eight total with five of them up there. Well, where's the third one then? Hold on, let me see. One, two, one in the south, two in the south. Three in the south. Oh, so there's three in the south. Okay. Where are they all prepping for? Are they all prepping for? Okay, so there's three down here in the south prepping down here. Okay, so there's three there. Okay, so that makes sense why there's five. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So let's go back and look at the report. Freights. Actually, was there anything else of interest that came in this turn? Boop. Nope, okay, we got it all played out. Well, we already know what the arrivals are. Dingleberry, come on now. Upgrades. Let's see what our our supply situation is in here. Is this supplies? Oh, look, oh no. Go to scratch my ear and look what happens. So let's see, their supplies are all pretty good. Toronto's getting its supply from port to port from from Regio, which is funny, but awesome. Toronto is also getting supply from, I think that's Toronto, yeah, Toronto is also getting supply from Bonn. Really? So, what? He sent out a lot of supply from Tunis, but it's level six port, so I expect that. Algiers also sent a lot of supply, which I expect because, again, level six port. We have supply coming in at Bari. And then from there, going out to the units, which is awesome. Because <laughs> the rail lines aren't up yet, so the ports are a major deal right now. Okay. Another port for us right there. Salerno, level, level two port. So he's gonna play a little bit more of the waiting game, looks like. Oh, and shift Y, not shift Y. Um, is it control Y? Alt Y, shift Y. There's one of these damn things that shows, that's showing the unit name that I keep forgetting. I always forget. Hotkeys, and it's like shift something that goofs me up every time. Oh, I think it's near the O one, right? Sorry about that. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, here it is. Y. It's just Y. Since with Shift Y, you do that. You just hit Y and it does that. So I've been doing that and messing up for a while because I'm a, a dingleberry. <clears throat> Okay. The port's down. I'll probably attack out of there. If I try to walk up on him, let's see. Do I have these guys set as motorized? No, they're not motorized. These guys are motorized, right? Motorized unit. No, no, they're, they're motorized. So who's that needs to be demotorized? Oh, these guys are motorized, but we just have to give the trucks back to demotorize them. Okay. <clears throat> I follow. So they are motorized, but once they move, you can't demotorize them. And that's rough. This is still rough. This is, yeah, that'll be pretty good. So moving here should be good. He might come up here. I can't really trust him to not fuck with me. So let's... Let's see what we can do with these guys first. These guys can't be motorized, so. Let's see if we can motorize them, though, because I do need not enough trucks. Fuck. I'm going to need these guys. Not enough guys to go around. Free up the rail line. Oh, you can hear they sound like tanks. Nice. 26. Is that clear? Rough. <clears throat> oh, because we're in mud. That's also why. Montgomery's 8th Army, who's lagging way behind. And where do I have him set to drop at? <clears throat> where did I set him to drop at? 148, 253. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. That's the stuff. You guys are going to go on a daring daylight raid behind the lines to capture the mofos of justice I don't know who the mofos of justice are but we're going to capture them there's only four they're really under strength compared to what they should be though as an elite unit their morale's 54 their experience is probably low because they got destroyed once will this be a bridge too far you'll never know because you need to do no fucking recon dickbag Actually, no, we have recon here, so I don't see anything here. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. So I go here, and that, that cuts their their supply line a bit. And let's see, that would cut their supply line quite a bit. And my wife just got home, so hold on. And welcome back. Um... So let's see, I <clears throat> I can't do the drop this turn because I don't have enough uh, planes. I just flew one up before I forgot to turn the recording back on. I've got some more transport aircraft. Where are they? So I can find them all. Meet everyone with the... Transport command. No, this is USA one. I think it's this one, right? Let's see. Oh, yeah, this one. Cool. So all these guys. Oh, used guys. 
Transport Squadron. Awesome. Transport Group. That'll be a big one. A biggie. So we'll put you up there. Transport Squadron. Is that level 2 airbase or level 3? Where is it? Level 2. Almost level 3. Well, that's overloaded, but, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Am I right? You're right. Okay. Tra oh, a couple transport groups. Nice. Is a guy in Palermo? A group in Palermo? Poor guy's all spread out everywhere. While I'm moving these, I also need to move the... I should also move the guys for the um, strategic bombers. Barry. Oh. <clears throat> Let's switch you to... Here and good. I won't bring a couple more of these. It's a group. Well, too. Let's assign from the reserve, though. I want transfers for XII. Him and. Perfect. So they're on the map. Might overload the map, but... Oops, sorry. <clears throat> that gets the reserves out of the way. Let's do another quick save for sanity. Should you never be too careful. Let's repair the lines real quick, too. Not that it helps, because if we if we don't have the rail yards, it, the rail lines don't really do much for us. I'll go back and start. He'll work up the other line now. Perfect. Okay, so this guy can't jump behind yet, so. But what we can do is smack this, take our time to, you know, take targets of opportunity, which are going to be this. <clears throat> First off, no motorized here. There might be, but we're going to have to, we're weak here right now, so we're going to have to do what we can to prevent to fall into any traps. So that means block any lines of approach. <clears throat> we'll leave him here for right now. Cause I think we're gonna we're gonna try to smack this this uh Falcon Maker around. There'll probably be something in reserve, so we can expect that. No, there wasn't. Awesome. I'll take those kind of odds every day. So we're kind of got the flank covered here. They're only an eight though in this terrain. Not the best terrain in the world. I wonder what would be if we went here. We'd probably be anchored more. What if we went, what went here? We'd be anchored a lot more. <clears throat> if I go here, 
If I bring him up here, I unhinge this line a little bit, make him pull back, but I don't have the units to cover everything. So that is a problem at the moment. So yeah, it's good times. Let's see. Decision, decisions. <clears throat> Let me say while we make the decision. <clears throat> Sorry about that. My throat's just super dry. Oh, I actually have this tank unit too. So I can use him to unhinge the line, actually. Let's do that. Have them, okay, hit, he's gonna unhinge the line. I guess he's not really unhinging the line. Man, it's crazy in the mountains. Those guys are like ridiculous. Oh, and they're mountain troops, so. <clears throat> that explains a lot. If I pull in here, he'll probably jump ahead of me and try to kill me. So we don't wanna do that. We don't wanna be stupid. That gives us 51 defense. That gives us 34. So this line will probably hold for a little bit. He'll probably push there. Um, fortified zone. Uh, so he's he's hinging everything there. But yeah, that guy was just in too, too easy of cover to hit. Like he's a 16, that guy was just not a 16. So I gotta take any chance I can get to herd a, herd a German infantry unit. <clears throat> and his supply is terrible. Yowza. <clears throat> Six cores there. Fifth Army is here. Fifth Army has a bunch of stuff. Actually, no, it doesn't look like Fifth Army has much stuff. Six core. Get you over here and get you on a get you on a rail car. Oops. You'd have better luck walking yourself. So all you've got is this guy, so you're <clears throat> six divisions I'm holding up here. Actually, what? Two, four, six divisions I'm holding up there, yeah. And let's look to, I wanna, who's the guy going to 134, 254? 134, 254. Is him? Okay, we're gonna switch you. You're gonna land. <clears throat> When you do land, you're going to land there instead. So sorry if it backs up a lot, but I need you to be contiguous where problems happen. Let's get AFQ over this, to this uh, island. It is going to be important for supply. Let's make sure... Second core, second core reports to seventh army. All seventh army stuff is over here, so let's get you over here, buddy. Polish core. What's his landing hex? His landing is. 148, 260. 
Oh, is that where you're going to land now? Oh, perfect. Then we'll drop you right here right now. That'll be perfect. <clears throat> Unless they die, in which case that would suck. But there's no one. It doesn't look like there's anyone there. Depending on where's held, well, fuck. Well, okay, well. The the mountains all by themselves, the nominal force that they have is enough to destroy a parachute regiment, so. Well, that was a bummer. Oh, well. And this looks like a different... Because this is the third... Second, second 414. This looks like it's its own... Unit. So that'll be something to keep our eyes on. But yeah, we start. We got to get reinforcements up here, ASAP. <clears throat> Off the train of march. There's the way, buddy. Off the train of march. The rest of the way. Well, you stay on the train, you'll actually be able to make some progress next turn. And we're back after a small pause. <clears throat> Let's get you to Toronto. Because you'll be bringing in supplies for everyone. So let's get you on a depot. And you're really a level 4 depot. You're very important to the success of the mission. So later I'll be level three. We can turn a lot of these level fours off. Like these are empty now. Well, they still have stuff stored, so that counts for that. You can drop to level three. You can drop to level three. Let's see, they can really drop to level three too. You're kind of a back order now. Leo can Malta can drop to level two. So why is his supply so stinky stanky? He got it from Croton. Received lost admin failures. Let me go up this way because I'll have better luck getting up there next turn. But we also need to get you to a new HQ. That core is not going to cut it. That core is full. This little boy was empty. Okay, let's get in this other core up here. You can, as you can see now too, we're going to have shitty supply next turn because I've used a lot of the rail for movement. So that was probably a mistake on my part and I will pay for it next turn because I'm a bonehead. Oh, but that's why you watch me. You watch me because I'm a bonehead, not because I'm Super smart and excellent and everything. It's like lessons of what not to do from Biscuit. Okay, I hope this line will hold. 44, 25, 25, 32, 51. These, these are going to be tough. Those guys are going to get smacked around. And actually, I'm going to back up one because they're going to get smacked around. And I'll trade ground for him every day of the week. Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll back him up there too. Just because I'll give the ground. Because these tanks are super exposed. Like, they're way under strength. It's kind of funny. Let's check the leader while I'm in here. Infantry 7, nice. Now that we actually have combat going on, let's, let's check some leader. Oh, Bradley... Bradley's a pimp. Of course, he'll be doing great. <clears throat> Which reminds me, is Patton... Is this where Patton is? No, Patton's 7th Army. Or 5th Army. No, Patton's 7th Army. Derp. Yeah, Clark was 
Clark's Fifth Army. And there's Patton. He's right there. Old blood and guts. I actually, I actually might transfer him out to to make put him on third army for the invasion, but we'll see for now. Okay, I think that's everything we can do down here. Um, have these guys line up for invasion. Perfect. Invasion forces are coming together here. Everyone's all planned up and everything. We have transports here now, right? Transports are here. These guys are planned up for their invasion. He's planned up in order to land. You guys are all set to the nine core or 14 core or 15 core. Jeez, cannot read. 15 core. I'm going to make you. You're going to be 15th core too. And you're also going to be 15th core. I hope there's no penalty for cross-national coalition ownership, but I want them all to be owned by the same, by the same unit, you know? These guys are going to be a quick follow force. Where's another port we can offload from? It's a level four port. Well, we obviously could offload from Liverpool. That's a level eight. Which one has the most XP? 60 morale, 60. Let's see, XP, XP. 60, 60. You guys load there. Cardiff is a six. You guys load there, we'll, we'll go here. So we'll kind of be a, a fast follow force. This guy really isn't a great, he's not a very good general at all. Uh, makes me real nervous. Oh, that reminds me, let's start moving some strategic stuff. I almost read. Let's start moving strategic bombers over to Italy. Bang my knee, sorry. Oh, let's see, 10. The strategic bombers over here for now, but let's get them over to, let's get them over to, yeah. Oh, I'll have to move them next turn after that. Okay. So, okay. Well, then that ends this turn. Let's save to the end of the turn save. And then we'll send it over. And I appreciate you guys watching. See you later, alligator. And wow, crocodile.